Hi everybody, how are you? One of the biggest questions I get, or maybe one of the faults that I see a lot when colorists send me stuff, or maybe director sends me something and says, something's not quite right, and that is that the color doesn't match. And when I say color, I obviously mean exposure as well. This little tip is not gonna be about how we go about fixing those things. I can't do that in five minutes, but obviously matching is one of the most important things in uh, today's role of being a colorist because if it doesn't match then people are going to notice and if they notice it's going to jar them away from the story away from the film and you might not got a call back to do the next job and it's not easy it takes a lot of practice and one of the things i see is people don't always check things back enough and there's a number of different ways uh, in resolve that you can do this. So why just take that little bit of extra time to review back your show. Now the most obvious one is you just watch it. You can jump on your playback controls. You can play through at double speed. Not always ideal because obviously some takes a lot longer than others. You've got some very short takes in there. So this is a new feature here in 17 playback fast review. There we go. So it goes pretty much normal speed on these short takes. Now it's going double, three times speed, slows down again, and it will adjust the speed depending on the length of the clip. Sped up again. Now the other way I sometimes do it, if I've got a shot that I need to match, say this one here, I will quite often just go to the last frame and then I'll just toggle on my keyboard left and right arrow and I would just toggle backwards and forwards like that there. How else do we go about matching? Obviously still store, grab the still by right clicking there. And then I can go to the shot where I need to match it and I play that still. Most of you know this, but sometimes you get this problem here where you're going, well, I can't see the guy in the still and I wanna see him there, I wanna move it over. What we can do if we go into sizing which is this guy here, there's uh, quite a few options and one of them is reference sizing. I can use my reference sizing just to pan the reference across, then use my wipe. And we can also zoom up here so you can really match when the matching gets really critical. Obviously that takes a bit of time to do that but there are occasions when we need to use a wipe. Now I'm not a big fan of using a wipe through the middle. I'd rather cut the still up, just cut like that. And that's how most colorists will do that because you see it as a cut like you do in a, uh, in a, when you see the show for real. Let's go back here, let's see what else we've got. The other one I use quite a lot, I think is a feature that probably came out of Resolve 15 is a split screen. And you can put a number of different shots into your split screen and say, what's going on here? Why don't these match? So I've got four in there. Go to the split screen here, version, selected clips. And what that will show me is all of these as a four-way split. Hit your space bar and they will play. Again, it gives you a real idea of where things are not matching. You can have up to... I think 16 splits here in a split screen. But rather than say select a lot of these like this, what I often do is I go straight to my light box up here, this guy. And you can see the whole movie here as you want. And then shots that don't match like number 12 here will jump out at you and you need to think and go and fix those. Use some of these techniques to view through quicker but always, always give yourself or save yourself a bit of check time. And if you're not sure, then it doesn't match. Your client's gonna see it. Go back, do it again, or walk away for five or 10 minutes, come back with fresh eyes and ask yourself in your head, is it matching? Okay, enjoy your color correction. If you wanna know more about the teaching I do, my online classes, they're all at fxphd.com. We have Resolve 17 classes plus a number of other courses that will help your color correction. Stay safe, folks. Thanks.